on the foothills of the most primitive western ghats in the Kulatapura reserve forest between the borders of Kullam and Trivandavur lies a hidden gem. To be precise, a magical piece of land anchoring a wide variety of flora and fauna. Arippa. Surrounded by the State Forest Training Institute, Tirubandaburam, Chinkotai State Highway, KFDC, human inhabitations and plantations, Aripa is still a mystery. spreads around two square kilometers at an elevation of approximately 70 to 200 meters above sea level. Mostly evergreen with patches of tropical freshwater swarms, the Myristica. These are one of the few primitive flowering plants on earth. State Forest Training Institute, Aripa, lies in a corner of this heaven. Being very old and pristine forest since decades ago, Aripa had always been rich with endemic avian diversity and also plays a major host for the migrants. Aripa Forest Patch has been a hot spot for bird enthusiasts since British Raj. They considered Kulatapura Reserve Forest as a bird paradise. Once thought extinct species, the Sri Lankan frog mouth was rediscovered from this mystical bird heaven. Afterwards only, these species were spotted from various parts of Kerala. Approximately 16 pairs of frog mouths were observed in a single day from this patch alone, which is quite unique. As the sun sets over the western ghats and the moon starts to reflect the light, this is the time for the inhabitants to prepare for the night. Some need a safe hiding place, while for the others the darkness brings light.
The night belongs to these wild birds and animals classified as a nocturnal. They start stretching wings and begin their search for food. There are a great number of animals and birds roaming around in the night. Slender Loris, one of the few primates who prefer the night cover over the bright daylight. Round head with relatively large round brown eyes indicates they are excellent night vision. At times, we come across some rare sightings such as the Myristica tree frog, Mercurana Myristica polystris. They breed during the first monsoon and spend the rest of their life in treetops. The brown wood owl, the Sri Lankan bay owl and rare actions of the spot-bellied eagle owl excites the night. The Jordan's palm civet, also known as the brown palm civet, rarely seen in low elevations, being predominantly frugivorous and dispersing a diverse array of plant species across the jungle. It acts as a key mammalian seed disperser of the Western Ghats. As the darkness vanishes, the sun who is hiding behind the radiant clouds starts shining through those tall trees clambering to fill the dense canopy with its light and warm up the forest. The day dwellers set about to invite yet another day. Yes, another day begins. The butterflies start to dry up their wings and dance around spreading the joy. The flowers bloom and it's their feeding time. Hunger has set in every living creature. The diurnal birds start preening feathers and are ready to search for food. Soon, the woods get filled with fusion of melodies by these little nimble musicians echoing loved, conveying their diverse yearnings.
As the day advances, the birds try to keep themselves out of heat. They start to hide under the thick, dense canopy or rest in the branches to prevent water loss. Similar habitat observed in the Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary, Tatekade, which is already a bird sanctuary. The area of Aripa is less than 2 square kilometers, which is a small area compared to Tatekade, which is about 25 square kilometers. Except the water birds, Aripa harbors almost all or more species than the Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary. On the other hand, Aripa is not under any serious protection status till date. Few bird watchers and some researchers had observed and recorded new and rare species from Aripa. Major part of Aripa consists of Meristica, which is considered as a lung of ecosystem and hence remains moist throughout the year. The water leaching from the soil nourishes the flora and fauna. During summer, they rely on these swarms to quench thirst and to get a quick bath. In return, their droppings nourishes the soil. At times, we come across the gentle giants playing in the mud to keep themselves cool. A gore crossing the road or a sambar staring at you. As the rain appears, the face of the forest suddenly changes. Birds and animals escape from the rain and hide themselves, but some enjoys the rain. small gaps in between rain. Animals and birds come out and search for food. And they get caught by the predators. Usually, they escape. But sometimes, fall prey to these predators. Thus, the balance of the forest is kept under check continuously. The give and take policy between the flora and fauna help this patch of ecosystem to stand of its own. These 
these giant trees form a thick, dense canopy, thereby cutting down the sunlight for those who dwell below. Life can be found in such an extraordinary abundance in these dark patches. Only a fraction of these members had been counted or seen. And it's high time to record and protect the life on this majestic piece of land.